Good morning, guys, gals. Ted from PV Farms here. It is a Wednesday morning, early morning, January something. Actually, I believe it's the last day of January. Woohoo! Let's see spring. Come on. Uh, just out here in the barn. Uh, wanted to say good morning to everybody. Uh, it is cold, as in many other places. So I'm not going to act like it's the only place that's cold right now because it isn't. But it is cold. Um, just out here checking on everything. Uh, had to do a nice little cold start on the Kubota because the edge of the driveways are all plugged up pretty good so we're going to have to blow them out and we intend on going to get a bale of baleage today. So they got some uh, good extra protein for this cold weather. <clears throat> all preparations have been taken for these cattle. Uh, we worked diligently yesterday in this barn getting the scrape down and it let me tell you it wasn't easy everything was froze solid but uh, with a little perseverance and uh, a little bit of new holland horsepower we were able to get the frozen manure out of here and uh, get a good amount of uh, bedding down for them i went about at least a foot and a half thick of uh, used abused hay and uh seems like they uh fared pretty well today um, yeah, uh, basically just, uh, out here just doing odds and ends, guys. We're gonna head out here. This side of the barn, let me tell ya, is pretty decent. This is my east lean-to. And, uh, like right now we're getting, uh, some pretty good wind gusts out of the west, southwest, and... This is a pretty protected area right here, so they don't mind being over here, as you can tell. We actually had a couple cows that stayed out here for the night, which I was kind of surprised, but uh, I guess as long as they're out of the wind, they can uh, manage the cold temps pretty well. Uh, our water is nice and heated. Uh, we did end up taking the hose off of it last night. Uh, it was overflowing and I didn't dare chance the water laying in there. I was afraid that the hose was gonna freeze up. So so we ended up blowing, uh, taking some air and blowing all the water out of the lines. But uh, just gonna try getting a couple things done this morning and be honest with you, I'm gonna spend probably as little amount of time as possible outside. It's either going to be in the Kubota, inside a nice warm cab, uh, or in the house where it's nice and warm. Um, last night tried doing a live stream uh, just for the hell of it. Uh, did not work, I don't believe. Uh, I had somebody comment that they couldn't comment, and I wasn't getting anything. So we just ended up shutting it down. But uh, intentions are. And uh, see, I don't have a community tab on my page yet. I believe you have to have so many followers before they allot that. So, not really sure how to post anything, what's going on, you know, just a message. So basically, I gotta let you guys know, we're tentatively trying, or possibly want to do a live stream uh, Thursday night after I get home from work. It's gonna be right around 8.30. And uh, we'll just come out here in the barn, hang out I'll grab a cold one or two and uh, hang out with you guys for about an hour or until I can uh, no longer withstand the cold temperatures because I know Thursday night is supposed to be pretty darn cold too so yeah Thursday night 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time there will be a live stream out here in the barn like I say we'll try doing it for about an hour or as long as uh, my phone will allow me uh, we've got some good conversations going on and uh, look forward to it. So, hoo hoo hoo! Mingya! I keep thinking about how cold these are, and these are good gloves. Waterproof, warm, they just come off the top of the heater, and they are already froze. So, now we're going to let this thing warm up for about 20 minutes, half hour. Um, small price to pay for a nice warm cab. Uh, Dodge is over here. I had to bring some hoses. Uh, I had a couple extra hoses out here. 
that uh, got froze. I, I thought I had all the water out of them, and uh, I did not. So I took those to work last night and uh, laid them in our uh, shop, heated, and uh, they were thawed out pretty quick. Blew the water out of them. So we have backup hoses just in case we get freezing hoses here, there, everywhere. <clears throat> and uh, we are all set in that aspect. Um, the daily feeding ritual is working really good, guys. Um, like I say, they didn't spend a whole lot of time out here on this one, but basically we got, uh, we're doing one bale a day. Uh, you know, once they get going and get a little bit of gumption out here and uh, want to come out and eat, this will go pretty quick. So I'll do another bale before I probably leave for work. Well, depending on how much is left, uh, because I am putting a baleage bale out in the feed ring out there. So they'll have that and they'll probably spend most of their time on that. So may not be putting another bale in. But uh, yeah, yesterday we had a little bit of trouble with the skid steer. Starting out, I probably spent an hour trying to get the darn thing started. Well, I've known this problem and I should have took care of it when it was warmer. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see down here in the battery box, my neutral wire does not make a good ground or good contact, I guess I should say. So you're constantly in there turning that uh, wing nut, trying to tighten things up because that wing nut loosens up. And it's amazing, just that little bit of uh, looseness, you know, it doesn't get the correct contact, so it wouldn't start. And I also had uh, the arms down. When the arms are down on this skid steer, let me tell you, you cannot get in there to do anything with the battery. It is a pain in the butt. So we put the arms up overnight, because if I have that same trouble, at least I can get in there. And uh, But uh, uh, my fix to that is going to be take that uh, black wire and uh, get the correct kind that it's a direct post. Um, Instead of that, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? That flat spot where you got to tighten the wing nut up on there. So, got to get that done. But uh, I ain't doing it today. So, but at least the arms are up in the air if I have to. Uh, like I said, this is a everyday machine. And I was freaking out because I didn't think I was going to get it going. Because with this, my Kubota will not fit underneath that it's about I don't know let's just say three to four inches too tall so I can't come in here with the Kubota and grab a bale if I need to so the skid steer is and I can't get in the barn so if I had to clean the barn this is the only piece of equipment that I would have been able to clean the barn with so all right guys we're gonna head in the pickup truck gotta run downtown and uh get some eggs uh, yes eggs um, I know we're a farm well we used to have chickens uh, not too long ago and uh, we ended up getting rid of them well actually I should say mother nature ended up getting rid of them um, I think we were at one time we started out we had anywhere's up to 40 chickens and it dwindled down side size we sold some and uh, got down to like 20 some and then you know they started getting old some started you know uh, taking their uh, course of nature and uh, but over the last that last stretch we had I had 12 14 or 12 and within a week they were all gone some kind of critter um, the trail camera never caught what the heck was going on but uh, I believe it either was a skunk or a fisher cat um, I believe they were climbing up all the way over top of the fence and uh, climbing in between the floor joists. And uh, I was losing a chicken or two or three a day. And uh, they were just disappearing. And, you know, you'd be walking around in the woods in the field, and all of a sudden, you know, you'd see a carcass. So, But I know we did see a fisher cat up in this area around that time. And uh, many times when that was happening, because I would always go across the street every morning, and go for a walk in the pasture when the girls were over there across the street and I don't know how many times pitch dark 
I'd run into a skunk, big skunk out there. But uh, long story short, basically that skunk also got mutilated. Uh, one morning we were out walking around over there and the uh, only thing I found was the head of the skunk. And uh, I believe it might have been that fisher cat that got the skunk, which fine with me. The thing stunk. I couldn't stand the thing. He come around the barn here and it just reeked. So, but yeah, chickens are on our list. I want to do it again. Um, it's so nice to come out to your own barn and grab a couple eggs for breakfast for the boys because uh, they like their eggs. And uh, let's go through here just to make sure. Yep, everybody's good. Yeah, I had a heck of a time here in this lead to scraping down. Basically what I wanted to do is I just wanted to get the high areas down so it was more level. So when I laid the bedding back down, <clears throat> it was flat for them. And like I said, it was a treat because they were just big frozen balls of manure. <clears throat> All right, guys, we are in the tractor. And it's still a nice warm cab. <laughs> Dreading getting outside of it, but... Uh, yeah, we were able to uh, grab a bale of baleage, and uh, I told you guys I was going to put it in the round bale feeder out there. Well, had a heck of a time with the gate. Gates froze to the ground, number one. Number two, these uh, four or five cows right here were huddling the gate, and uh, I don't, I didn't think there was any way possible for me to get out there and uh, get the tractor in there without cows running around the yard and... Uh, I don't need that, don't want that. So we just ended up uh, tossing it over here on the edge. And, you know, be honest with you, yes, there might be some waste there. They might lay in a little bit of it. But that round bale feeder is not 100% protected from the weather, the wind, and stuff like that. So at least here, right beside the lean to, uh, they're pretty much out of the, the wind that's coming out of the southwest today. So. That is a bale of baleage, uh, so they got some good feed for the day. Um, plenty of dry hay laying around. Uh, we ended up putting the hose back up in the water tub and uh, got it trickling. Uh, hopefully it don't freeze. If it does, I have backup hoses. Uh, my frost free this morning played havoc trying to get that opened. And I do have heat tape on that, so that tells you how cold it's been. Um, yep. So we're going to sneak out of the tractor here real quick. And uh, I am about done for the day. Everybody but the cats have been fed. And uh, we'll get that done. We'll make sure that the hose is still trickling. Well, that ought to work fine for the day, hopefully. Enough water running through there where it's not going to be an issue. And uh, once these girls figure out this baleage is out here, I imagine I'll have 15 animals surrounding this thing. Um, they'll have to work. That's all I got to say. It's going to have to work for today. So we're going to get the cats fed and we're going to be done. We're going to go in the house. We're going to make breakfast for the boys quick and uh, continue on with our day. Get ready to head into work. It's starting to uh, get dark now. That, the sun's still there, but <laughs> it's starting to get darker off to our uh, west. So we got some snow coming, I believe. And uh, the wind has picked up tremendously. So I imagine that wind chill factor has got to be down there. I had uh, minus four this morning, not too long ago, when I just uh, ran downtown to go grab some eggs. But uh, that's what's going on, guys. So... Uh, we're making it. Everybody seems to be fine. Uh, no issues yet so far. Uh, knock on wood. So, all right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, don't forget about the live stream Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to work. We're going to try. So 8.30 live stream Thursday night. 
Um, also, going to start doing a weekly shout out video. Um, I'm doing my research. Uh, I want to make it worth your while. So, hopefully, next week or maybe by the weekend, I'll have a channel that uh, we can talk about and uh, maybe send some support their way from you guys if you're not already a subscriber. Um, that being said, guys, look forward to talking to you all real soon.